Hello and welcome to the Saturday festive wrap for Saturday the 26th of December 2020. And if you're in the UK, you'll know that this is Boxing Day. So this is my look back on the week coming up to Christmas. Satirical, um, possibly overfull with Covid covid news at least um some tech and some beer let's have a look at what we're drinking wylam the cold condition it says in untapped that it's actually a collab but this is slightly weaker 4.6 compared to 4.8 in untapped and this one's definitely brewed in newcastle this is a lager beer for non-lager beer drinkers. Um, crisp, malty, a little bit grainy, and um, highly lemony. Really, really nice. B++, if you're asking. Anyway, um, so, as I said, this is a look back on what actually happened this week. With cynicism aplenty. Okay, let's start off then. So, um, yeah, I'm doing this on the iPad Pro with a headset, um, as you can tell, and it's Christmas Eve. It's actually stopped raining, which is good. It's got rather frosty, which at Christmas, I don't actually mind. So, where did we go f up to here? Does that make sense? Probably not last Saturday. Um, Boris made an announcement. Boris was on time. Bit of a shock from Boris. Um, basically lots and lots of England, southeast London and uh, down into uh, I think as far as Hampshire. Um, they went into either tier 3 or tier 4. London is certainly in tier 4. The southeast is tier 4. Um, and that basically means forget your five days it's christmas and that's your lot bye bye pubs anyway um there is a variant which dependent on who you believe is supposedly 70 percent more transmissible than the original not 70 percent more dangerous it seems to be the same and all the vaccine manufacturers are saying we can do for this and even if we couldn't we could knock one out quite quickly yeah okay so london took a battering um mr drakeford in wales a little bit upset because he likes to be the first to lock things down he was out of the blocks after bojo and there was hair being cut well up to 10 o'clock on Saturday night um, because we're only having a one day Christmas thingy. Not that that's the end of the world. Um, we still have the internet, we still have TCP, IP and Zoom are doing free calls all over the Christmas period. Other messaging and meeting apps are available I'd recommend it cjit.si I think there's going to be one of these coming up over the Christmas period as well. Um, be a, will be described. Anyway, France got cut off. There's an old joke, fog in the channel, Europe cut off. Um, basically, no one could enter France. Uh, no one could come the other way, which is bit strange. Um, they said they did it because of the variant um, but shouldn't it be the people coming into the country's decision on whether they want to do it or not? Uh, the UK did not shut the ports um, and it was all operation stack and lorry drivers and such like. Uh, the irony was a lot of them were European drivers especially Irish drivers and the French being good Europeans, irony alert, were hurting other Europeans. Um, it's still ongoing even as now but they've got to have a PCR test and 
show up as negative I'm not going into the story of the iterations and the PCR anyway um, it accounted for well lettuce shortages <laughs> and sprout shortages and such like um, in the great scheme of things frozen although I don't think you can get frozen lettuce but oh, it's lettuce this time of year oh yeah sorry right and um, the uh, mutant virus oh, that was in Wales there had been a number of cases and um, some figures later on in the week said that the amount of positive cases in Wales per 100,000 uh, put us at second in the world. Not altogether sure who was top, um, but Wales was second, which for a small country is pretty good. Another irony alert there. So... Uh, already mentioned the weather there were two rain warnings I think yeah it was Monday and yesterday Wednesday yesterday was the far more significant one uh, flooding on the railway lines a uh, flooding on the roads uh, there was a shop in Cardiff that got flooded out completely the water was up as far as the counter yeah, 2020 has not been a good year. Not been a good year for weather. Storm Dennis. Uh, it was interesting on Wales Today. That's the BBC Welsh News. They were in pont a saying about how people who had been out of their homes since February and were now returning. And then the next thing was people in Newport and people in Penarth being flooded. Hmm. Anyway so um because we're now in level tier four i'm not sure what it's called but it's for um essential purchasing aisles were supposed to be cut off and i know in some shops they certainly were but i went into aldi on monday night and tesco's on tuesday night and aldi none of the aisles were cut off tesco's you could buy clothes and if I wanted to and I was very tempted to they had frying pans on sale I think a lot of places are just fed up of this nonsense really really staff at Christmas don't need this ah really 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 elections in May by the way um and then there was an interview with Mr Drakeford he seemed very pleased with himself um, but and this goes back to science because there was no science he was really having a go at wet lead pubs he didn't know when they would ever open again despite the fact that they had done everything he asked of them as regards segregation and plexiglass and such like here come the figures again and these are from England because you can't get the Welsh ones thank you Mr Drakeford cases from pubs 1.6 percent cases from hospitals 3.6 percent you're safer in a pub um, and also the number one place where you get it is mingling at home why not have a go at those if you want to bring the cases down cheap target putting people out of work and hey pubs are good for mental health but I don't think you care because well teetotaler hmm anyway and talking of leaders and Nicola Sturgeon was spotted at a funeral in Scotland without a mask do as I say not do as I do there you go and uh, to underscore the problems that pubs are having in the whole of the UK and especially Wales Marston's bought all brains pubs both in Wales and outside Wales the brewery still belongs to brains but all the pubs will transfer over if everything goes well in February uh, there you go 
And as I mentioned, the flooding yesterday, the rain stopped overnight. The back garden's still a little bit flooded, um, but it's, um, I don't know if I'd say it's evaporating off. I suppose it is, um, but it's chilly. It's chilly today. It'll be freezing overnight, and there might be a touch of white frost tomorrow morning for Christmas. There might be snow on Monday. But um, the bank holiday... Um, oh, not bad called a Boxing Day, another wind and rain warning, which is awesome. Anyway, um, yesterday, um, uh, Matt Hancock, more tier fours for England, all the tier ones disappeared, and yeah, possibly a full lockdown from the new year, who knows? And straight out of Norway, no place not Norway uh, actually South Africa two new cases of yet another variant as if we don't need anything else like that at Christmas the week of the variant and the weather so far okay and the next one of these Boxing Day the post Christmas update he says anyway jingle Hello, and this is the post-Christmas part of the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 26th of December 2020, which is Boxing Day. Yeah. Okay, time. Um, 10.17, and the rain is back. I think we should be grateful for the Christmas Eve and Christmas Day weather. Uh, yesterday there was ice about. There wasn't a great deal of frost, um, but there was ice in the garden. However, the sun was out, so my solar powered charger worked well, and uh, my washing, um, that was quite good as well. Although today I've had the washing machine on, and the stuff out on the line is getting a second and maybe third rinse. So, um, Christmas Eve nice beers um and although i'm not religious the church at the top of the street had an outdoor service over loudspeakers and i could hear it um, probably about 300 400 yards away maybe a little bit less um and it was all rather festive and my next door neighbors um up on the upside they were, well, Jasper was putting out reindeer feed so that um, the reindeers and Santa knew where to come. I like that. I really do. Anyway, um, yeah. Ah, streaming. I saw Danger Close. Not a bad film. That's the Australian one. And um, Salvation seems to be going on um, I'm well into season two now, and it's good, but sometimes it's just a little bit incredulous. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> um, started Star Trek Discovery. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but I'm not sure about the depth of writing. It's good. It's good quality. The CGI is very good. But I feel that it's written for episodes more than an arc. However, I'm watching it. The biggie for me is The Expanse. And that is great. Really good. And unfortunately, yesterday, Christmas Day, I ran out of episodes. Um, it's weekly. Um and I was saving the episodes up but um, yeah so as you can see it's all about the streaming I haven't hit the Plex box yet um, but I'm sure I will and I'm keeping a peep on Cool Charts coolcharts.info um, they monitor the price of various things including iTunes movies and they'll drop you an email if you highlight something and put it on your wish list if it goes down in price not a great deal has gone down in price over Christmas 
So I haven't seen any terrestrial or satellite broadcasting this Christmas. It's all been about the streaming and thank you Plusnet, you have been fine. There have been no issues. And the football is back today as well, um, although I could be tempted to get Now TV, but I kind of like it better on Radio 5 and Talk Sport. I mean, that's one of the things. Um, oh, and IT wise, there have been issues with Apple's authentication servers basically being overloaded. New iPhones, new iPod touches, although not many, um, and HomePod minis and Macs and such like. Um, reports have been coming back that there have been issues, which I don't think is uncommon. On the politics side, um, there has been a Brexit agreement. Um, it's a huge amount of paper. Well, actually, probably a PDF. And I suppose the devil is in the detail. But I think this one will, despite the fact, go on and on and on and on. But that's politics for you. And um, as usual, it's all either on Twitter or in the comments on Facebook or the papers or whatever. Uh, Christmas Day. Okay, Christmas Day was Belgian Beer Day. Um, they were from the Hereford Beer House. They were fantastic. Um, I don't know if I said... I'm going to say it again, even if I did. I was checking out my beer from the Hereford Beer House for the fridge today, and I found a note in there saying that they'd gone through my untapped, untapped the uh, the app for socially responsible drinking to check that all the beers are new. And talking of that, Anchor Steam Beer, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 2020, and it looks like this. It is awesome. 7% alcohol by volume. A little bit fruity. Caramel, chocolate. Goes down a treat. A little bit sharp and alcoholic in the finish. A wonderful beer. But, yeah, they checked out all the beers. It's a new beer. Uh, it's new to my untapped. And my stats are looking good. Uh. <laughs> oh, um, had a turkey. I overdid it on the um, stuffing and the mint sauce. Um, but I enjoyed it. To be honest, it was a pretty standard Christmas for me. I have spent Christmas alone for well, Lord knows how long, and I enjoy it that way. I had a bit of a conversation with my father on the phone, so what? all together on my phone and then there is TCP IP which connected me to the world but kind of enjoy Christmas that day that day that way that's the 7% alcohol by volume mm. anyway um, this morning um, a Christmas tradition you wait until you get the emails with the special offers from all the seed suppliers um, DT Brown this year free postage and if you had more than four packs of seed potatoes 20% off that's out the door as well and there's a thing in Mac stories and I'm not sure if they got it from Bloomberg or someone else but they are now talking about a new Apple TV for January 2021 I'm going to keep my tinder dry because well you never can tell but that would be quite good um, maybe around the time of CES which is all online this year I hope it is anyway um, here's to the people here's to the people who are missing people especially on this day the 26th thank you for watching I wish you a Merry post Christmas and a happy and secure New Year and thank you thank you very much for watching 
and now I'm going to render this under Apple Silicone. Bye bye.